Alright, where do I start? So, I was in fourth grade and my dad gave Logan and I a camera. Start making videos on it, thinking nothing of it, you know, just having fun. Doing it because that's what I love to do, is just be silly and make people laugh. High school came around, started wrestling. It was pretty much all I did was wrestle, train, wrestle, train, wrestle, blah, blah, blah. And you know, I don't really like school that much. Um, so we started making, um, started making videos for YouTube. Basically I realized that like this is what I truly loved, you know? Wrestling was great, but I didn't actually love it, love it, love it. But this is what I really, really love. So that that's why I moved to Los Angeles, and that's where I'm here now. And I, I dropped out of high school, finished my high school online. I have my diploma. Moved to Los Angeles with my brother, who's in that room right there. I left all my friends in Ohio. I left everything. Uh, Brought my clothes in a suitcase, said goodbye to my mom. She was crying as I left to the airport. Uh, flew to Los Angeles, started pursuing the dream of being on television, being on movies. Can't thank you guys enough because honestly, I'm, I'm living a dream, honestly. I hate to be like so emotional because I'm not, uh, not normally like this, but it's, I'm living a dream thanks to you guys, and I'm I'm lucky enough. I got so lucky. Whoever the first one to revine it was, whoever the first one to like it, I want to thank you. And hopefully you're still watching today. Hopefully I didn't scare you off, but yeah. Y'all, y'all can't handle this. Y'all don't know what's about to happen, baby. Team 10, Los Angeles, Cali boy. But I'm from Ohio, though. White boy. It's every day, bro, with the Disney Channel flow. Okay. Um, oh. What's going on? So, uh, Jake, Paul, and Eric <laughs> Costello are here. What? what? I see their <laughs> car. Um, what car are they driving? Pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I see someone. Oh my god, it's Erica Costello. <laughs> Erica Costello. I'm Erica Costello. Hey, yeah. I love it myself. Never concerned with the gossip. I literally made a list of everything I need to talk to him about, which is long. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I can't believe it's over. This is it. This is. <laughs> I need. Huh. Welcome to the Team 30 house. Hi, Jake. Hi, Jake. Nice to meet you. We got Starbucks, yeah. I'm my cake. I want a whole cake after this is over. I know. I'm like nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about the food. This is the real Jake Paul right here. The comfort food. Yeah, but I feel, uh, honestly, this morning, and I'll talk more about it, but like, I had a full mental breakdown. Jake Paul and his family and his friends and everybody around him and everything, I can't do this anymore. What is this? What the fuck? But. Oh my god, I have a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> Why had three of them? They're all lying to each other and lying to themselves. We thinking Jake is bad, he did this. Oh, Erica's like, oh wait, she's fucking, she's bad, she did this. Faze is like, oh, he did that. It's just all ba 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 ba. Three, you had three men mental breakdowns. This yes. morning? Yes. Ah! Sorry. Ah! Oh my god! Why? Because of him? There's three Pauls. Three of them. There's Jake. And now, I'm in the middle of that! Because I think I realized what all of this is about. And like what we actually should talk about. We're gonna talk about everything. But I just okay. had a moment. They all love drama. They all love controversy. They love it. That is not for me. I don't watch videos like that. I watch mukbangs. And like for me, a mukbang is like so much more drama free. <laughs> <laughs> you look crazy. I feel crazy. 
I'll explain later. But I'm excited. I'm fucking ready. I'm fucking Starbucks like up. This. I'm fucking ready. I'm to Starbucks go. up. Same. And like, we're gonna kill it. Let's them. fucking do this. Let's Shane. fucking do this. <gasps> yeah. Let's go. I'm still terrified. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's flip and do that thing. This is good where we're sitting. So I think what we're gonna do, it'll just be me and you for like the majority, like the big moment of like going through everything. Yeah. So I guess what we should do is. Why are we here? <laughs> Oh, uh, it's me, Erica Costello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Erica Costello. Hey. hey guys. <laughs> Costellers. You guys are Costellers? Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. This is amazing. <laughs> well, I'm gonna hang out with them. I'm good. Okay, so chill. You guys can go get Froyo or like do something fun. I've had ice cream twice today. Perfect. Really? <laughs> I'm a savage, you can't catch me, you know. But yeah, we're kind of just splurging, you know? We're kind of just living. living on. Yeah. How long do you guys want to go there? Well, Officially. Officially, like four months, like super official. But before that, it was like. It was a while. We've been together a while, like a year. Like That's what I'd say. Years. I feel like you guys have been together for a long time. Just like we just never like wanted to make it like Facebook official. official. Yeah. And like this was like during the time that like all of, like the shit and like drama was going on. So like, I just didn't know who to trust ever. Yeah. And so like insane. Which was just sad, but yeah. You said to me. I don't think we filmed this part, but you said for like the first year, I think, that you were like, the idea of dating was not in your head. No, like I, I, the first like two years that we were working and living together, I had like a serious boyfriend. Uh, hey. Did you miss me? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I missed you too. And I like couldn't, I love you now, but like I couldn't like stand him because I was working for him, you know what I mean? Like. It was like, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, great. When, no, no, no. Like, yeah, I didn't like you either. No, you know what I mean. Like, that actually built a strong foundation, though. It yeah. did. Well, it's it actually, did. it's weird because, like, I never, w like, thought of her in that way. Never. And then, like, one day, like... We spent so much time together, too, like, for, like, two years, like, every single day for, like... But one day, like, we woke up and, like, I was like, damn, she's hot. <laughs> and then, so, yeah. Yeah, that was... Yeah. I thought the question. Do you think your butt lips work that you get all the time? My what? Oh, the butt stuff? Yeah. I got my butt lifted. You have like one of the cutest butts I have ever worked on. Oh Thank you. From Beauty Long? <laughs> <laughs> it actually does. <laughs> what? Um, okay. I'm gonna go diarrhea. I'll be back. Jake, you chill. Do you need water? Um, more coffee. Maybe water, yeah. I'm gonna take a shot. Um. <laughs> Do you want one? Double it, double it. Wait, really? oh God, I'm down. Should, we should all, everyone take should a shot? We should all take a shot. This is very different from Good Morning America. <laughs> I'm down! Wait, what should we have? Yeah, wait, what, what do we drink? What do we drink? <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh, right, see, Team 10 has nothing on me. <laughs> Fireball. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Wait, are we actually doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna cut this out? I don't know. Probably. <laughs> yeah, I've never drank on camera. I mean, I've never drank before. Ever. Because <laughs> <laughs> my audience would be like, I don't know actually. I just want to put it on my channel. I don't really care. Yeah. Interesting. I think people like. People don't. <laughs> but I don't think they do. I think I, they do. <laughs> they do. That's <laughs> something okay. that's not going. I don't want to be like. He just takes shots, like straight up. Yeah, I'm just vodka, yeah. Wait, who else is doing this? Everyone. Me. But it's I like a solidarity this. thing. <laughs> yeah, no, we have to. We have to. Yeah, Everyone's have... gotta do it. Yeah. I'm really shaking from that coffee, so this will be good. <laughs> okay. Right. To honesty, not holding anything back, yeah. putting everything out there, <laughs> and just saying fuck it. Let's do this. Cheers. Yeah, that never gets easier. Let's talk scandals. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> okay. That's so funny. So, Erica, do you want to come sit? Yeah. Here? Yeah. Okay. Dun dun. So, here's kind of what I learned. Yesterday showed me a lot. It showed me you as a real person, it showed me your guys' relationship, but 
after doing all the research and hearing all the different sides of the story, hearing your guys' sides and everybody's sides, what I realized was, I think the idea of choosing sides and being like, oh, you're the bad guy. Oh, she's the bad guy. She's the bad guy. Oh, Alyssa's the bad one. Oh, Faze is the bad one. Or, oh, Jake's the bad one. I think it all, at the end of the day, like, doesn't even matter because right. when you look at it, everybody is kind of on the same level on all sides. It's like, yes, you know, Alyssa cheated on you and all of that stuff that we'll talk about. What brother would fuck their brother's ex? That doesn't even make any sense. No, it doesn't. Is that something I shouldn't bring up? Like, what was his reaction to that? Bo. Not good. No. Not good. No. I don't know if that is something you should bring up. But then you could also say, well, but Jake probably did this. Jake! Jake probably did that. So it like balances each other out. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Wanna take <laughs> two. Oh, yeah! It's like, yes, this person might have lied about this situation, whatever. Because Jake, you're abusive. And you physically abused Alyssa. And on the other side of it, it's like, he's not like a physical abuser, like he's not an abuser. Erica has things too. She knows everything that I went through. And like, she's just super hypocritical. Everybody says that this happened, this happened. Like 100% proven that Eddie's man was innocent. Mm. And he never removed the video. I feel like it's just everybody has made their career based on drama, controversy, beef. Views. Look, I'm excited for the rest of this series. I literally have no idea what it's about or where it's going. And you've been very honest about that. Like, yeah, I want to be famous. I want to be on Twitter news. I wanted to do all these things and it worked. Mm -hmm. Basically anything I do now gets picked up in the press. All press is good press. Right. But the side effect of that is it kind of puts everybody in the same place of like, a mess. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, for sure. You know what I mean? No, it is, yeah. And I had this weird feeling of like, wait, but I like him. And wait, I really like Erica. And like, I feel like I could be friends with her. But what does that mean? Am I, am I dumb? Am I, you know, are people going to be mad at me for that? But it's like, no. Because I liked FaZe too when I met him. I thought he was cool. I think everybody has their shit that they've done. It's not about making this person look bad or this person look good. It's like, this is your chance to just be like, all right, here's my side of it. Here's my opinion. Here's my story, what I think happened, what I think about these things. Nobody can hate on you for just being honest. Right. You know what I mean? It's like nobody can hate on that. As much as I love Jake, uh, we don't talk like normal brothers do, I think, as much as we should. Our family's a bit that, hey, cuckoo, if you couldn't tell. This is what it is from for, my perspective. For me, like, that, I feel like that was what, that's why I kind of like never talked about the, a lot of the controversies was because I, I told you yesterday, I was like, I just feel like it would just be like me ranting and like trying to defend myself and it wouldn't seem like real or authentic, you know what I mean? And, and like people, even if I was telling the truth, like I just, I don't know, I just didn't feel right about like trying to like respond or like have my side of the story out there. Off camera, we were talking about some things and you were like, well, if I talk about this thing, then people are going to say I'm lying or they're going to bring up other things I've done. Exactly. Or they're going to they're gonna add on to it. So it's like, why even talk about it? What I want to do with this is be like, all right, <laughs> fuck all that. I want to go through everything, but that's kind of the tone I want to set. And also, can I be super honest? Yeah. Okay, I woke up with a text from Erica, which was like, Erica, hi. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been thinking about the part where we talked about and even though it's all very true and honest, I don't think it's my place to tell the whole world about it. If Jake wants to talk about it tonight, then you can use that footage. I totally get where she's coming from, and I'm like, yeah, no, we'll figure it out. Because I want it to come from him. him. So, I think there's a lot of fear from a lot of people, right? Like, oh, I don't know if we should talk about certain things, or I don't know, I don't know, and I'm afraid of blackmail and this and that, and she recorded this. And I still have these ones when I was like, to this day. He has this. I had to watch the security footage through FaceTime. And there's like so much of that. Like that's the worst thing you could ever do. Literally. To where I realized like, oh, everything has kind of been done for views and for fame and for crazy motives and beef and drama. It's like everybody's kind of on the same page yeah. to where it's like everybody looks bad, which in turn makes everybody look good because <laughs> everybody's right. on the same page. And it's like, so if someone wants to come out later and be like, oh, she lied about this, it's like, dude, I have proof. When I got that text up, I have screenshots for days. All the recordings too. I'm good. Don't make me tell them the truth. It sounded really evil, and I didn't want that. It's something that everybody in Teen Town says. No, like, I'm, it's just... Oh, my God. Well, 
You're going to be fine. I was even looking at the assault thing, and we'll talk about that later, but I was looking at that and I was like, you know what, even that, it's like the fact that that was a video that was titled, huh? that the video's still up right now, the fact that Erica, you were on the news talking about it, mm -hmm. it was very much, and I'm sure there's reasons for it, but it was very much like capitalizing on something that isn't good, assault. Right. It was very much like, oh, we're Twitter moments, it's, it, people are talking about it, it's a thing, it's a thing, it's a thing. Thank you for uh, putting yourself out there for my vlog, and so I can get the views and subscribers. Yeah, I need subscribers too. Right. And the video has never been taken down. I mean, I didn't really lose much from it. I blew the fuck up from it, to be honest. So I think going into this with that mindset of like, we're all on the fucking same page. Sorry, you had to get dragged into this kid's life and all this YouTube <laughs> drama and craziness that goes down. Welcome to the vlog vlog. There is a lot, and there's a lot of controversies and a lot of drama, but I think the main thing people want is for Jake to actually talk about shit as a person, not as a video, not as, you know, anything PR-ish, like just as a fucking person and, and just be like, this is what happened. It is what it is. And I, this is how I feel about it. Yeah. And I think you have somebody right now that has your back and who also calls you out on your shit and who also actually cares about you as a person, not as Jake Paul. So I, that's also why I wanted you here. Having somebody you can trust me and somebody you really, really can trust her. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree. I'm, I, I want to, I want to like, I just want my truth to be out there. And yeah, you're right. It's like, it's like, like what Nick said, it's super, it is super complicated. And there's like so much, so, so much, you know, like it is a lot of the situations like are super complicated. Yeah. Literally some of the answers to these questions can literally be like, I just wanted a Twitter moment. I wasn't thinking about it. I just wanted a little moment. You know, like if that's one of your answers, fucking own it because that's real and honest. And if one of them is like super complicated, but it all boils down to the fact that like you wanted money or power or you wanted to fuck somebody over, just fucking own it because those people on the other side would do the same shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Everybody's at that point. I think you've changed, even though I just met you. I can tell. I just feel that. But Jake, a year ago, like that's who we're talking. Yeah, it's a lot different. Yeah, way different. Much different. Yeah. Okay. Um, so, let's do it. Or, keep your hug. What do you mean, you? <laughs> Bye. Good luck. <laughs> uh oh. Alright, so it's just me and you. I have a list. <laughs> I made a full a long list, list. Yeah. of everything, right? So we're just gonna go through it. Cool. So, here we go. The first thing that's very much a thing is the Martinez twins. Um, they came out, they made a video saying you bullied them, you used clips of the videos, you were destroying their room, you were, you know, chaining them to things. <laughs> it's crazy because like the Martinez twins and all of us were like best friends. I don't know, like, I think their the, their new manager like flipped the switch inside their head to like turn them against us. But like, for them to say that I bullied them, like, first of all, those pranks on them are like fake. Yeah. Like, my vlogs are like it's like lightly scripted, and so when I all those pranks, I like tell them I'm gonna do it, and then like they're like okay, and then I do it. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Martinez. <laughs> <laughs> so for people to say like I, I was bullying them or for them to say that it's like we both would film videos all the time like tell each other that we were gonna like prank each other before we even did it um, you would let us know like the night before I'd be like hey by the way I'm gonna like pretend to wake you up tomorrow with like the leaf blower wake up this is Spain it's Spain man no this is Spain bro I think they just wanted to like capitalize on leaving Team 10 as much as possible to, to gain like momentum that way. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. No, it's okay, it's okay. Yeah, it's I was excited, okay. right? It's everything okay. Okay, ready? Do you think anything happened with you guys where you went too far with either saying something to them or doing something to them or something where it was like they felt okay about kind of leaving and fucking you over. I wish the Martinez twins were here to do Oh this. my god, bro. They'd be like, what the heck is this Americans oh, yeah, doing? They would, just, they would be like, I want to play soccer. Yeah. I think that a lot of, I think sometimes there was a language barrier. Um, 
when we would like be joking around like off camera a lot like sometimes I would see them like get mad at me but I would, I would always try to fix it and like <laughs> you know what it is <laughs> no ah no. it's a post it yeah post it no oh. <laughs> I'm actually proud of you that's good I'm, I like to make fun of you but you guys are actually good again I don't know why everything got so malicious with that like I don't know I like I feel like we could still be friends till this day <laughs> that's for you man Oh, ah, no! Oh! Wait, oh. are you gay? They did say that you were saying some like crazy offensive comments. He was saying to us all the time because yeah. it was funny for them. But I, even if you were, yeah. I think it's one of those things where it's like that and it sounds fucked up. But that's not surprising to me um, because you get. You want to take a, I, there's like a thing flashing in the back, so do you want to take a second? I just got to yeah, move that. Yeah. So, we just took a little break, changed lighting and stuff, but also we were talking off camera. Um, this is another one of those instances where it's like nervous to talk about this stuff on camera because it looks like we're putting blame on things. So I'm just going to say my thought and you can respond. For me, when I was a kid and I grew up in a household where there was no line. I mean, it was aggressive, it, the jokes were crazy. It was offensive. And I'm not saying it's good. I wouldn't raise my kids that way, especially now. But that's where I came from, right? So when I started YouTube, and I started saying jokes, and I started saying things with my friends and stuff, I didn't know it was too far. I didn't know where the line was. And I quickly realized, and it kind of fucked uh, my life up, <laughs> basically. I'm assuming... Yeah, like, our friend group is very much like... Kind of that same way, like the way we were raised, like it was. Hello, who I'm talking my wise? We got chicken for our wise. Crazy, like there was like no line, like very like high school locker room type like vibes. Like you can say anything. People are saying the most messed up things, and uh, that's like how I was raised, and like. I think the Martinez twins, like I said, came into that environment where it was like me, my best friend Anthony, my best friend Chance. Anything was a joke to us. We talk about each other's moms. We talk about sisters. Like we diss each other. Like no boys, my... boys and girls. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what, hey. And anything that people said about me or like my family, like it was all just jokes and like that was best friends, like that was like our comedy. And so I think like when we would say jokes to like the Martinez twins. Say Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Donald Trump. Yeah, we got it, you got it. Right? I think at the time they thought it was funny, but then maybe looking back on it, they were like, oh, they, they were like being racist or like. Can you give me a specific example of what went down with that? Literally, we would greet each other, like the Martinez twins would walk into the house, like, and if we were all sitting there, they'd be like, what's up, crackers? And, like, they'd, like, call us, like, stupid, like, white people, and, like, they'd call us, like, stupid Americans. We'd be like, but what up, beaners? Like, we would just, like, give it back. Like, bros being bros. Um, and when they left, I think they, like, used that against us. Beaner. Like, how he's joking about that. Like, he cannot joke about that. To be like, oh, yeah, they called us, like, this and that. When like that was the culture, in a, in that house. America, sh you know what? <laughs> America. And they did it to us too. Like they would, everyone would just like joke around. Um, America. All right. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to say. Do you think that experience made you change a little bit? Because I didn't notice any of that. Granted, I was there. There was a camera, whatever. But did that experience be like, oh? There is this line, a hundred percent. Like I, like those words wouldn't even like come out of my mouth because I, till this day, like I'd be scared like someone just even saying that I said something bad. You have to find out where that line is. And like, like I said, like growing up, my parents, or mainly my dad, like there was no line with jokes or anything. And I definitely learned from that situation, like not everyone's gonna joke around the same way. And even if they are joking around, they might not actually be okay with like that environment. Yeah. I know it's hard because you don't wanna blame 
family, you don't want to blame whatever. But also the truth of it is like everything you are, all of it, is really rooted in how you were raised and your childhood. Like it's so obvious to me some of these things. Like you had no control when you were a kid. It's like you're going house to house to house to house, back to mom, back to dad, back to mom, back to dad. Your dad doesn't really have a line. He's like offensive and you know, whatever. It's like, am I sexy? So, so sexy. I am tired. Is that sexy? That's so sexy. Is that sexy? <laughs> so sexy. So sexy. It does all kind of make sense when you look at it that way. Hey, will you take a picture with me? <laughs> sure. I'm not kissing you. <laughs> so yeah, I'm happy you're like talking about that because I, I didn't want to cross the line and bring your family into it, but kind of to no yeah Makes like sense. yeah with a lot of yeah things, you know like is there anything else you want to say about them before we move on I mean I mean and by the way it's okay to be mad at them right I'm not telling you to sit here and be like that's what I mean like I am I am mad at them honest. like yeah I literally took them from like, I, w I went and visited them in uh, their hometown in, in Spain. And I got there and, like, got to their house. They couldn't even speak English at the time. No, no se tiene que enterar de nada. And I was staying at their apartment just so I could meet them and potentially sign them to Team 10. Their mom barely had any money. Like, it was, like, a bad area. And, like, I took them out of there, like I saw potential in them, brought them to the United States, literally taught them like how to speak English. There is a station, right? Yeah. Yeah. See how like normally you'd say there is castle? There is yeah. a castle. Yeah. Bro, it's this eh, one, I'm dude. actually like, Thanks, man. I'm the best. Oh. Gave them a place to stay and then like they go and say that I bullied them like and was racist like when I was like the first per person that they would ever even like feel comfortable to speak English with, like, I don't know. I wouldn't do nah, that. Nah, man. We love you. You're my big brother, you. man. Wait, these are the fake ones. That, that's why I'm mad about it, because... Real? Oh. Was that a tear? Oh, baby. Oh. I love you, bro. Bro, it looks good in my, in my hand. To me, on my end, it's like I love them as like little brothers and like... It was more than just like me helping them get followers. Um, yeah, I think that's why it pisses me off. Because like one day then all of a sudden they're like, forget all of that and try to bash my name. It will successfully bash my name. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sorry, Jake. I'm so sorry because of this. Um, okay. So another reason that everybody, uh, actually, you know what? Something I haven't actually asked you. Why do you think? people hate you or instantly don't like you? I think there's a lot of reasons. Um, a lot of my fans like skew younger. So I think like the older generation watches my videos. They don't like my videos. They think like they're just like garbage and like cringy and all that stuff. She's gonna break the world record for most dabs in a minute. Let's go. To like, I have gotten into a lot of shit that would make people be like this kid's a jackass like staying on top of the news van like at the time i watched the video back and like i thought it was the funniest thing in the world i still think it is like because that's like my personality but like watching that from like an outside perspective what are those? and like detaching myself from it like i look like a fucking douchebag yeah. I guess he didn't like my shoes, but I don't think they're so bad. Like, look, like that was terrible. But I think the people that like know me and like the fans were like that, that was hilarious. Um, I think I come off like with like a cocky vibe as well. And like nobody, nobody likes anyone who's cocky. With the It's Every Day Bro song, I'm literally like just bragging and like talking shit the whole entire time. For people who didn't know me, and that was like their first impression of me. They're like, wow, this kid sucks at rapping and he's just bragging about dumb shit. Yeah. Just drop some new merch and it's selling like a god church. Um, <laughs> as like the list of controversies piles up and they're just began to become this like bandwagon of like, fuck Jake Paul. Mm -hmm. And once that momentum like goes, it's hard to 
do anything to to reverse that and like any, every th little thing that you do from then on out just amplifies what everyone thought anyways yeah and i mean i have done like shit that's not okay it's so like it makes sense on why people don't like me what i'm curious about is there's things you've done that you know were bad or aren't okay but i think you might have a hard time seeing it from the other perspective. For example, looking at it from the neighbor's perspective, like that's a fucking nightmare, right? Looking at it from my perspective, if I lived next door to that, I would like not, I, I would not fuck with you. I would be like, this sucks, fuck this guy. This Imagine like all these people on the street all the time, fucking news, all this shit. So I was seeing that side of it. But I don't know if even to this day you really like see that side. What do you? What are your thoughts on it? No, I get, I get it. Um, the neighbor situation, again, like it was, it just spiraled out of control. Everyone was just stuck. Everyone was just like stuck. I was stuck with them being my neighbors. The neighbors couldn't go anywhere because that was their houses, and like there was fans outside all the time. I was stuck in that house. I was trapped inside. But I had to keep on like making videos on a day-to-day -day basis. And it just was a situation that like kept on getting worse and worse. I think where everyone needed to do better was like just having like all the neighbors like communicate. No one ever communicated with, to me, their problems. It was always like, oh, let me go talk to the news station or let me go talk to like the paparazzi. But no, the neighbors never said, Jake, like, mm -hmm. can you not do this? Can you not do that? And Honestly, like a lot of the blame was like on me, but I didn't tell fans to come to my house, which everyone thinks I did. How did, have you ever talked about the, how the address got leaked? Cause I don't think I've ever heard. <clears throat> no. So I don't think it's ever been talked about. One of the employees was trying to get Team 10 set up on some Google account. He put an address in and it was the actual address of the house, not like the accountant's office or anything like that. He didn't know. It was an unfortunate situation. Then when you type in Team 10, the house address came up. Oh. For what reason? I don't know. Like They just started showing up and it became like a thing for people to come to our house. I told you guys not to come to my house. Apparently you guys don't listen when I say not to come to my house. Now everyone's going to show up. Great. The rumor was you guys purposely leaked the address and the truth is one of the employees fucked up and like it was too late and that sucks. Yeah. But the whole world thinks that we wanted to make a spectacle of ourselves or Jake wanted to make a spectacle of himself yeah. and it's, it wasn't the case at all. It was awful. And I tried talking to the, the, there was like one neighbor who was like mainly pissed. And I talked to him like in person. I was like, yo, like how can I make this situation better? We tell fans not to come. We have our own security 24 seven to kick fans away from our house. I can't even walk out of my house without paparazzi. Like I hated it too. Like I felt like a prisoner in my own house. Do you see what's so crazy that we have to deal with people assaulting us? Like why? Sorry about that. What have we done to anybody? Like, we're just trying to make videos and make people laugh. The, the Really, the only solution was for us to leave, which we tried to do as fast as possible. And when we did leave, that solved it, you know, so. Yep. But I get why the neighbors hated me. Like, I really do. Obviously, like, the, the, the fire thing, we didn't know it was going to turn into, like, that big of a fucking thing. We thought it was just going to, like, light a little thing on fire. And obviously, like, it uproared and, like, there's no excuse for it. We were just being dumbasses and making money from it. It was at the height. Like no YouTuber had ever like blown up that fast. And it's like, I'm not gonna stop. I'm not gonna stop yeah. doing my job because my neighbors are pissed, to be honest. Like, yeah. And did you feel almost like, oh, I'm getting attention. It doesn't matter that people are mad at me. It doesn't yeah. matter that I'm fucking up people's days, fucking up the neighbor's lives because I'm getting all this attention. And then when the neighbors say like, Fuck Jake Paul, you're a very vengeful person. You like revenge. So you're like, fuck that neighbor. I'm gonna do it bigger. Oh, I'm gonna fucking get an air horn. I'm gonna do all this crazy shit. And then it's like, <laughs> the consequences, you are now hated by a lot of people. You know, you got all the attention, but you also now, a lot of people don't like you. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. I. I don't know if I like love that specific attention though. The hate? 
w with like the neighbors. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't like beefing with them, you know? Mm. Like we would have to be next to each other. You know, we had to see each other all the time. Yeah. I think the other thing is like the recklessness, right? Mm -hmm. For example, this is a personal thing. I've never talked about it. But one of my friends who's pregnant was walking across the parking lot and you were driving and all your friends were in the car and I don't think you were even vlogging, but you guys were just being crazy in the parking lot and you like almost hit her. And she called me and she was freaking out. She was pissed and she, she works in the internet world. And she was like, that fucking Jake Paul kid literally almost fucking killed me, my baby. I'm so fucking pissed. Like, what do I do? Like, I don't like, I'm so fucking pissed right now. And I was just like, whoa. So I think it's one of those things where I don't think you would do that stuff now from what I saw yesterday. But why do you think you were doing stuff like that at that time? I think genuinely like we were just having the time of our lives. Like w when I was a kid, like I would do like stupid shit for fun. Oh, like you go and TP someone's house, go egg someone's house, go ding dong ditching, get in trouble, uh, mess with people in public. Like that's what we did for fun. Hi, wait, do you know who Spongebob is? He's my friend, will you help me get him out? Please? Yeah, 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 we out here in the streets, we running there, what's up, what's Gucci, how y'all doing today? Faster, faster. I think I carried that a lot into a lot of my videos. Please report to, are you, are you Jake Paul? She is not a Jake Pauler, but I was like growing like crazy and like making a ton of money off of like I was just having fun and like doing whatever I wanted and like that was like the momentum behind like my channel was like kind of like rebellious and like no one's ever done this crazy type of shit before and like this is new and I think that's why I grew so fast mm -hmm. is because people would just be watching and be like this is out of control but it's like so entertaining and like this kid will do anything and as I got more views and more money like psych like without even like psychologically like with in the back of your head without even thinking about it like I wasn't like hey I'm gonna go do this and make more money like in the back of your head you're like let's just keep on going and like creating content we'll do whatever we want for content I don't care what the consequences are I think that's something that I learned is like for every action there's a consequence and I know that now but like I don't think I realize that in like the height of my like vlogging days I just would act and not really care what the result was yeah and yeah it was dumb I mean, I think even just hearing you say that and being like, listen, I didn't give a fuck. Having fun with my friends, getting views, that at the moment meant more to me than, you know, I wasn't fucking thinking about others. I was thinking about yeah. myself. And, you know, yeah. And from what I saw yesterday, I don't think, I mean, you were literally driving under the speed limit. <laughs> we weren't even filming it. You were like pretty cautious, you know, so I don't know. Do you feel that way? Like you kind of, you're kind of done with that. For sure, no, yeah, like 1,000%. I had to, I had, like, I didn't realize, like, what I was doing, you know, until after the fact. Did your parents ever step in and say, like, when things were getting really crazy or when you were doing things that were like, whoa, did your parents ever step in and be like, don't do that, why are you doing that? I don't think my parents saying anything would have, like, stopped anything, though, to be honest. Yeah. And I think they might have known that, who knows, but... So this is something that's like a lot, but there's a video right now that a lot of people are talking about um, from a channel called Nerd City. He is intensely hated by most other creators now. You know, you've said a lot that your audience is between eight and 16. You know that they're young. So here's what people are saying um, and what the video said. You're constantly promoting your merch, um, like a lot. Out of a 13 minute and 50 second video, nearly seven minutes of that time is devoted to advertising products. Excessively. You have a merch store in your house. We saw it. It's like merch is very much like always, always a part of every video, like a lot, like 50% of it or more, right? Uh, you even made a song all about merch. Buy that merch. You made jokes and said like, hey kids, tell your parents to buy my merch. Tell your parents that I want this merch, whatever. Go tell your mama, she gotta buy it all. You know, you had kids join Team 10. You had like mini Jake Paul. Like you, you very much created a world of like something that kids want to watch. 
you're catering to children. My little dude here is rocking the merch. Chomp, turn, turn him around. That's what I'm talking about. Didn't you have the underwear on too? Oh! Even tagging your videos like family friendly, but also tagging them like sexy girls, which is a little weird. So people basically think that you're manipulating young people, kids watching, to spend their money on you, to buy your merch. All right, Ben, uh, we need to sell some merch, you know? You're cute, so they'll buy the merch if you wear it. I'm gonna need you to put this on and go in front of the camera, okay? So I'm curious, like, what your reaction is when people say that's, like, crazy. Um, I think, it, I honestly, I think it's fucking stupid that people think that's manipulative. Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't even see, I don't see a problem with it at all. Like, I, just because my fans are younger, do, does that mean I'm manipulating them? Like, merch link in bio. We got some hot new merch. My link. merch has come. I don't think a kid would actually believe that and be like, wow, I'm not cool if I don't have this. And like, hey, mom, like, I need this to be cool. Will you buy this for me? A big part of my content is like to make someone's day so that's why i'm working every single day is so that i can inspire you or make your day better just so that you can take over the world one day and to me like that's what the merchandise is about like in a way is like it's being a part of that community and like wearing something that like actually means something and like reminds you of something or reminds you of being positive or reminds you of of being happy. And I know like I promote the shit out of my merch like crazy. Um, pro maybe sometimes too much, but for people to say that I'm like trying to manipulate younger kids is, is it's like, it's ridiculous. I, so you spoke your truth on that and I think we should respect that. Psychologically, what it looks like to me. And when I watched that video, um, I agreed with what he was saying. Younger viewers are unlikely to understand the difference between advertising and entertainment. But I agreed with it because I'm a 30 year old guy who, I, I, I just get that, right? There's some legitimate brainwashing going on. It's very predatory on these kids. You, and I don't mean this as an insult at all, but I don't know if you know what's right or wrong with a lot of things. And I think you are kind of emotionally and in other ways stunted as um, a kid. And and you show that in a lot of ways with like the crazy things you're doing and like uh, just the house and the Legos and the wall and like always wanting friends around and always wanting like attention and always like doing these crazy things. And okay, no, we're making snow. Okay. <laughs> buying these crazy toys and like buying, you know, it's very much like, once again, I think you're very smart. I'm not saying you're stupid, but I don't think you are this evil genius who like knows how to manipulate kids. So I agree. I don't think you're purposely doing that, but I don't think you know why it is wrong. Like, for example, you made that song about teachers, right? Which pissed off a lot of people. My teachers never told me that. My now in your head, you're still thinking as like a 12 year old. I didn't like school, I still don't. You're still thinking as a kid, and you're still thinking, teachers suck, fuck teachers, they were mean to me. Yeah. I fucking hate teachers, right? On my last day of school, I said goodbye. Most kids were still talking smack, and a teacher even asked me, what are you gonna do when social media dies on my way out? I just smiled and waved. They didn't understand the vision. Cause that's how I felt when I was 12. But people who, might not be a little bit stunted. See that is like, why the fuck would you say that about teachers? That's crazy, right? Mr. Paul, what's the answer? Why don't you tell us some shit that we're actually gonna use in our real lives? So, I think it's one of those things where, for example, you're watching a TV show when you're a kid, right? Say you're watching like SpongeBob. If SpongeBob, every 10 seconds, was like, buy my merch. Merch, what? Like, look at all this merch. They can buy, a <laughs> always plug. <laughs> always, right? And was saying things like, teachers are stupid. And would have videos with like, you know, a couple crazy sexual moments or a couple crazy things going on. Hey, nice butt, Alyssa. <laughs> you know, as a parent, you'd be like, I don't want my kids watching that. Or, 
you'd be like, wait, what the fuck? Why is SpongeBob trying to sell my kid shit? But isn't there like commercials in between SpongeBob? Yeah, but it's not SpongeBob. You're the one that the kid trusts and loves and looks up to and wants to be. Yo, I'm here with Jake Paul or Spoon! So having you tell them to buy things and tell them that teachers suck is gonna affect them. And I don't even think you're doing it on purpose. I don't think you're manipulating on purpose. I just think that's one of the consequences of the internet is people having a platform and having millions of people watch who might not fucking know that that's not the best thing to do. Because I don't think anybody around you is like, well, you shouldn't do that. So like, why would you stop? Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I think that's again, just like people finding a reason to be like, fuck Jake Paul. To me, honestly. It's not a fuck Jake Paul thing. It's a, would I want my kids watching that thing? It's like, is it right to constantly tell kids to buy things that, and I'm not telling you to change it or telling you to stop promoting your merch or any of that. I'm just telling you where those people are coming from when they say that. Because I'm not a fuck Jake Paul person at all. But I also see like, yeah, writing a song about fuck teachers is like not cool. But I didn't do that. I basically made a song like, nothing my teachers taught me in school do I utilize in my day-to-day -day life. At least from my experience, like they were like, Jake, you're never gonna become shit. Jake, what are you gonna do when Vine dies? Like, Jake, like you have to learn how to speak this in French. But like why, would, like, I don't know, like. Cause you, you and your teacher didn't get along or something, I don't know. <laughs> Go figure. Um, anyway, so he called me yesterday He's the principal at the high school now, and he wondered if maybe you would be interested in speaking at the commencement in June. I think a lot of kids did relate to that song, and like, I relate to that song, and like, I wish my teachers did teach me. Um, I, feel like don't, I feel like they wouldn't they hate me, like I talk so much shit about them, like in my vlogs. I know, but you can pull up in your Rolls Royce, get your- I'm actually so down. <laughs> I just like, yeah. You know what? I'm totally kidding you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, teachers teach subjects, right? English, math, whatever, all those things. What you do use in everyday life. So to say you don't use any of it, it's like not true. So the things that you wanted teachers to teach you that you think they didn't teach you, in all honesty, are things that, it's not the teacher's job. It's parents' job, and I was I gonna make it part two called "My Parents Never Talk." <laughs> and, and that's the fucking truth, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. Like no. it, it, a teacher shouldn't have to tell you not to blow up your backyard. A teacher shouldn't have to tell you not to promote merch to kids. That's all things that happen um, at home, and you know, and that's the truth of that. Yeah, I just don't know who's around being like, don't post that. Yo, I'm getting my dad to crowd surf. No. Yeah. Who wants vlog dad to crowd surf? We lost him. The only advice I'd give on that is like, I think going forward, you might need to have somebody that you hire or somebody around you to be like, hey. Uh, no, that's gonna get twisted, don't post that. Or hey, eh, let's not really shoot that music video. Eh, that's a little too far. Because that's what they have on TV. They have standards of practice. They have that kind of stuff on YouTube, you don't. So that will save you from a lot of shit. Because uh, we've seen before on YouTube, like we wish there would have been somebody around saying, you can't post that, if you know what I'm saying. How do you feel about that? Um, yeah, I agree. I mean, that could be, it's definitely useful. I think it's hard to be like, I mean, I'd rather just have like you do it. <laughs> like, <honestly. laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> Jake, send me your video. Let me prove it. Um, I don't know. no, that's really funny. But also I like, <laughs> yeah, it, you have a lot of power. It's, it's a lot, right? Which means you need Responsi responsibility. It's like Spider-Man. But I don't want to become like so like squeaky clean that it's like not fun anymore. 
Does that make sense? Yeah, and I think you can still be crazy. You can still do crazy things. But I think you don't know what the line is. Here's the thing, I don't think you're manipulating. I don't think you know. I don't think you're trying. I, but I also- It's not even about that, it just bothers me that like people would even try to make that connection. Like I'm trying to manipulate an eight year old kid to buy my shit. Like when I was 12 years old, me and my brother had a YouTube channel and we like made our own merch. Pretty nice, high quality. So it's up to you if you want to buy a t-shirt like that. It's pretty nice actually. I'm gonna give those ones to my uh, cousins, so. So it's like, I've been doing that shit my whole life. So like for people trying to say like, I'm just doing it to manipulate and try to make money off of kids, like shut the fuck up. That's how I feel about it, which like, that's just me being honest. Yeah, no. I don't the teacher thing I get. The teacher thing is like, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done that. But I did and like, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um. Okay, this thing um, is a big one, and it's something that we talked about a lot when we weren't filming yesterday, and it also, to me, kind of explains a lot. One of the first big situations that happened that kind of made everybody not like you was Alyssa Violet, your ex-girlfriend, supposed ex-girlfriend, she said she got kicked out, she was mad, she made a whole long video about it, she showed snapshots of all her stuff like in boxes and I even remember when I saw that I was like, whoa! I was like, this is fucking crazy, like yeah. what is this? And that was very much like the f one of the first things I just heard about you. Yeah. So there's a lot to that story. I don't know how much you want to go into, but I think you, I think you should. Also, I talked to Keemstar about it. Um, because I know he's friends with her and her boyfriend and stuff. And he said the same thing I did, which is like, it's kind of necessary because it is, it explains a lot. Yeah. So I, wherever you want to start. It's hard, it's hard for me to, uh, it's hard for me to talk about, um, for many reasons. And I, like one of them is like I don't I don't know, like start shit again, just because like I'm so like I hate the drama now like it's like so overplayed and like like you I've met with Banks in person and like we've both said out loud like if it weren't for this situation like we would probably be homies. Um, but where do I start? Um, What is your fear if I'm talking about this? My fear with with talking about it is like, it's such like a sticky situation and like, if I talk about it, like it's just gonna like bring up all the shit again and like, and a lot of the reason why I didn't talk about the situation or like my side of the situation is like to defend my brother. Um. I think that's, that's why, but. I, I know the fear of like, oh, if I talk about this, then maybe it'll start another beef in a battle. From what I've heard, they don't want that. I think they're wanting to move on. Um, and I think they probably are gonna understand like that this is necessary to talk about. And also this is something that is kind of public knowledge. It's like, there's been news stories about it and stuff. He tweeted something and then deleted it. When I found this out, I was like, Whoa. Uh, uh, how is Jake not more fucked up? Like, it was crazy, right? Uh, and I know that there's 10 sides to every story, but like, just. Well, yeah. Yeah. So. So, I guess, like, backtrack. Like, Alyssa and I always, like, really liked each other. 
we were always like dating, but like not really like were we a thing? Yes, we were a thing. One day we're not. One day we were. It was a very like rocky like sort of relationship. I wasn't at the time mature enough to know like how to be a, a boyfriend. Um, we would always like get into into arguments and like and be fighting and like go through like ups and downs and like everyone would kind of everyone would see it around us. Basically I did something that she I think it was like I did like a bunch of things that like pissed her off mm -hmm. and like she wanted to get revenge. I guess is the word. What do you do to piss her off? It was a combination of things. Like I did like again, like it was just me like not knowing how to treat her. Like me just being like mean towards her or like saying things in the argument that like would piss her off. Even business things cuz she was like a part of team 10. When we would when we would like not be dating, like I would go and talk to other girls and like and yes, she would go talk to other guys, but I think everything just like added up and it was like this like really bad situation i think like if someone sat down and talked to her to like today she would say like it was just a terrible like it was a terrible situation like we were living together we were doing business together we were dating we weren't dating uh i was like her like manager basically like I, it was just a terrible situation and like i think she would say the same thing till this day um but we would always do shit to piss each other off. Um, and I don't even like, I don't wanna like, <laughs> I just never said it before like on camera, but basically she came up with a plan in her head that like she, wanted to make me feel the way that or she wanted me to feel the way that she felt because she she thought that I like hurt her so much and she wanted me to feel that same pain mm -hmm. um and so I think out of spite she, she began uh, a relationship with my brother behind my back like without without me knowing about it, and um, uh, it was it was like it was a sexual relationship, um, and it was while we were dating, while we were on, while we were off. Um, in the back of her head, I think, like I know actually, that she wanted me to find out and and that was like her way of like hurting me and like getting revenge for the way that I hurt her mm -hmm. I don't know if like and so so I I'm literally like sitting in uh on, like on the couch like this one night and my friend comes up to me and is like hey man like I've been kind of like putting clues together but like someone needs to tell you um and like Nick was standing right there and and uh the person who was telling me and I was just like yeah, all right, what's going on and he was just like Alyssa and your brother uh, have been having sex. Uh, and uh, I didn't like. I don't even know what I did. Um, like my mind was going like a million miles per hour, and um, 
it kind of like immediately, like without asking him why he thought that or like what the clues were, how they even found that out. I was like, yeah, like that makes like it all makes sense now. Like I could totally see that. Um, and I, I was shocked. I didn't know how to react. I. I think I like, uh, I was just like heartbroken I was, for many reasons. I was like, how could like, like why would my brother do this? It was like one of my first thoughts. Um, and reg I think like, yes, like in our fucked up relationship, like we did a lot of messed up things to hurt each other but like that to me was like just like that was it for me I was like I don't I can't I don't want to look at this girl I don't I can't believe this like I I don't even really want to like talk to her um and so I stayed silent for like three days and And, uh, I don't know, I don't know if I should, I don't know, I don't know if I need to, like, go into any more detail, really. Um, I, listen, I'm, I, and I want to hear the rest, but I also don't want this to look like we're, I don't want this to be like a fuck Alyssa, you know, thing where we're throwing her under the bus, whatever. And you uh, said you did things to hurt her too. But I do want to say from an outside perspective, my brain can't process, uh, sorry, my brain can't process um, this in uh, your brother do... Uh, doing that so I think uh, that was like the, the reaction like you're having right now is like what happened to me like I just like I sat there for like three hours like silently I don't know I couldn't process it either like I was like I had so many questions like I wanted to like punch my brother in the face, but again, it's like it's not like a as much as like as much as the situation is messed up, like it's not throwing Alyssa under the bus, it's not throwing like my brother under the bus like. You, this is something that I don't think eh, that many people in the world have gone through and nobody really would know how to process this and also just because you're Jake Paul and people hate you and you've done whatever shit, like it doesn't mean that you're not allowed to fucking process this and talk about it and figure it out. Cause like what that is no matter what bad stuff you did, you're allowed to feel like that was probably one of the most fucked up things ever. Because it is. Yeah. Okay? Like, and I know I just met you, and but, like, when I heard that, I... I don't understand, and also, uh, uh, I, it's not something a human can understand. Okay? So, like... And I hate that you're like afraid to even process it because you're afraid of like drama or what. This isn't drama. This isn't like a Keemstar video. This is like real fucking shit. This is real life. This is your brother. So take away the fear of what people are going to say or analyze. And I actually want to know what's in your head and did you talk to your brother? How yeah. did you get over this slash are you not over this? No, I'm, I'm over it. I, I like don't like to like 
me as a person, like, I don't want to, like, hold grudges against people. Alyssa wanted me to find out about it, and she wanted me to have the reaction that I did, and that was, like, her way of, like, hurting me, and I think she wanted to, like, try, like, to split Logan and I up. And if I just, like, let this, let that, like, it gave me so many trust issues. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but for me, I was like, if I just let this, like, manipulate my life, then, like, I'm giving her, like, what she wanted. Mm -hmm. Like, she, if I let this, like, affect me and, like, ruin my life and I just, like, become depressed and, like, sad about it, like, th then she won. And... That's why, like, I had to, like, fight against it. And, like, for my brother, I think that's where I was more disappointed. And I I talked to him, and um, that took me a lot longer to, for me to forgive him. What did he say? Like, what? How? I, I, I mean, he's not here to defend himself or whatever, and I'm not throwing him under the bus, but I just want to know, like, what? How do you even have... A conversation like that? Yeah. He... He basically said, uh... I didn't... He, his, his thing was like, oh, I didn't think that you guys were... Um, actually, like, a thing. And that, like, you guys were, like, actually dating. Um, that was like his excuse, I guess. Right. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, is that, fuck. I think the reason that people want to hear you talk about this, the reason for me is because the fact that you maybe didn't fully talk about it like this. Well, that's what, like, yeah. Is, like, confusing because it is, um, a, uh, life-ruining, uh, event for, I think, anybody. Um, it's, it's, I can't, com I can't comprehend it. I think when, like, when it, I, for some reason, like, I just wanted to, like, I think my initial thing for not talking about it was like trying to defend my brother because I thought it was going to make him look like really bad. I regret not talking about it and like telling the truth about it before, but then like I just stayed silent and like. Yeah. When you tweeted and then you deleted it, was it just like, oh my God? I was like super impulsive. Like yeah. I was like so a angry because like every like her fans were like tweeting me like, I tweeted something random and they were like, yo, you shut up, like you piece of shit, like you kick girls like out onto the street and I was just like no like I forget what the tweet said but I mean because what what I heard that went down was you know you found this out and then she kept living there right she didn't want to leave yeah so and I she was there for a while so I uh after I found out I confronted her about it, and when I confronted her about it, she, like, admitted to it, but then I was like, you live in my house, I just don't want to be around you, like, I'm so hurt by this, if you could have, like, move out and, like, find a place to stay in the next 30 days, mm -hmm. that'd be better for both of us, mm -hmm. like, just take 30 days and find somewhere else to stay. Like, I just don't want to, like, be around you. Mm -hmm. Like, I was so <sighs> messed up by this. Like, I... But then after after 30 days, she still didn't move out. And then another day went by, another day went by, another day went by. And then all of a sudden it was, like, 40 days. And she just was, like, refusing to leave. And so I, I basically told her, I was like, I can't have this anymore. Um, and... She just kept on like taunting me about it, actually, and like. What do you mean? 
like for that like 40 day period like we wouldn't talk and like every like once in a while she'd like like walk into the house and like say something about like Logan or something like out loud so that like I could hear it. just like malicious things um and so I, after like 40 days I was just like this is it like I can't do this anymore um and I called the moving truck and like told her that she had to be out and that's where you start to see the snapchats and like all that stuff and I knew very well like she had places to stay like I gave her places to stay I told her like you know I, like I can, I'll get you Airbnb like whatever you need to do like I just can't have you living in my house like I was gonna like go insane because every time I saw her I just pictured like them together But I like I like I forgive her honestly, and I for, like I forgive I forgave my brother like a lot sooner. It took me a while, and like I don't think she like she or Banks like I haven't I haven't told that to them. But like I forgive her, and like I also like apologize to her. Because, like, it was just such a bad situation. Like, we drove each other, like, mad. Is there something that happened with you guys that, in her head, justified her doing that? I remember her, when I confronted her about it, her justification was, like, she said to me, like, you made me do this. And I think... It was because like when we were on and off for a year and a half, I would go and be with other girls. Mm -hmm. And she would go and be with other guys. But I think the fact that I would go be with other girls like always lived with her and is what she means by like you made like you made me do this, like you brought like I brought her so much pain as which is why like I and I know I did. Like, I wasn't... Like, no one in this situation is innocent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you... I, I don't want you to feel like you have to uh, forget it and move on so fast. And because, like, you have every right to uh, take your time with that and feel that. Because that is, like... I don't even know how you can be in the, in the same room as your brother. At least not for a long time, and or like that. You have to look at it like, like um, I I'm gonna say something and we can cut it, but uh, I I feel like you care a lot about your brother um, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see that you and your brother went through some shit I understand not wanting to lose him and lose that relationship and like I oh my god I literally don't even know it's so I my brain is processing it I don't want to feel like I have to like like it's like a weird situation, right? Where it's like, you don't want to piss anybody off, but also like, this was a catalyst for so many things. Like, everybody thinks you kicked her out and it was this and that, but cut to her with your brother. And also, you don't really have that many people around you that you probably can trust, and he's your brother, and now yeah. you can't even trust your own brother, but like, he's your family, so what the fuck do you do? Like, this is all stuff that I wanted to talk to you about because I didn't know what the fuck to do. I was like, it was the most alone I ever felt in my life. And like, I felt like I lost everything because mm -hmm. I did care about her a lot. Mm -hmm. And then like, it was just like, that's out of my life. And then like, my parents didn't even know what to do. My yeah. parents like tried talking to Logan and like, 
they were pissed at, at, at him and and then I talked to him about it and like it didn't really make me feel better about the situation but like I just had to like swallow the bullet um I think what what hurt the most was like when uh months after they like made out on his like diss track thing that he made against me see this is like why I'm so confused by everything because when I see you know thumbnails right on YouTube like oh reacting to my brother react or kissing you know Jake's girlfriend or whatever I assume it's fake I assume it's it was real that to me is uh, crazy and also explains a lot yeah because how the fuck did you how are you even okay now I honestly keeping it real I don't think you are that situation I don't yeah. is I definitely like changed a lot for me like yeah and here's the thing once again not to throw Logan under the bus but I think your brother has you know a history of not knowing where the line is for some things that in his head was content it's views it's this it's that it's a music video like I think there's like an emotional detachment where it's like, oh, but it's views and it's drama and it's this and it's that, right? Like Jake loves that he gets it. If you guys weren't YouTubers, that would end a family. That's like family ending shit. Like you fucked my girlfriend. Yeah. But because you're YouTubers, you have to like play into it and it's like clicks and views and like, it's very toxic. It's, it's very. Well, I had two options. I had one option, which was like, don't talk to this kid ever again. Uh, or option two, um, not let it split us apart. Right. Which is what she would, which is what she wanted. Right. And I chose option two, and it was a lot harder of an option, mm -hmm. because that, like mentally I had to like cope with it, and it still like haunts me, like, t till this day. Like, like I'll just like, like, like even with Erica, like, like I just think about like that and like, it just haunts me, but like, and I have trust, a lot of trust issues from it. Like I, I don't, I don't trust like anybody. Like, like, like Erica like had to like teach me how to like love. Because, like, I didn't know, uh, like, teach me how to love and, like, and, like, trust again because, like, I just didn't want to. And, like, like, she was, like, the closest person to me and I was, like, okay, well, like, she could be, she could, bat, like, screw me over, like, as much as Alyssa and Logan did. And so, like, Erica had, like, come into my life to like teach me how to like love and like and like and like trust again and um uh yeah it's been a lot to deal with yeah uh uh it's hard because I'm like holding back a little bit. I mean, I told you, <laughs> I told you earlier. Sorry, like, I have a like you know soft spot for you. We talked about it, even in uh, this the past couple hours. Uh, I've noticed it's like it's hard for you to feel things and express what you're feeling, and uh, I don't want even though he's your brother and you love him and stuff. I don't want this to be something that you like push down because like you need to feel this like this is like and I know that you might have been raised like don't feel a certain thing don't be a certain way I was raised the same way yeah like, you know like that's not strong that's not manly fuck suck it up suck yeah. it up you like know? don't cry don't cry don't yeah. cry don't cry don't cry and um that's that's something that like that's something you should not feel weak about feeling that because yeah. that is like, 
no, no, something no. that would tear up a person. It didn't tear you up because you were probably like raised to like be strong, be strong, be strong, be strong. But I think that might be forcing you to push that shit down. Which is why I'm happy Erica's around, honestly, because I feel like she's probably a person who can you could be real and actually feel things around. She's not gonna judge you and make you feel like you're being a pussy, make you feel like whatever. Like, yeah. So, you know, even like even now, you're still like kind of protecting your brother and making sure nobody's mad at you. But like this is like you, you don't have to. Like it happened. People know it happened. Yeah. It happened. Um, What were you going to say? Yeah, I don't know. I... I just don't want to, like, hurt anyone. Was it? Yeah. Nobody can be hurt or uh, mad at you for fucking talking about your shit, telling the truth, talking about what you've been through. Have you talked to your brother and stuff about like the fact that it might come up at some point again? Like when he sees this, are you going to be like scared? Like, oh, I don't want him to be mad because like... Yeah, part of me is like, yeah, he's probably going to be pissed about this, but... I think he also understands that, like, he did it and, like, and that he fucked up, too, so, like... Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he fucked up, like, real bad. Real bad. And I think he'd admit that. So, you know. But it happened and you went through it and, like... so fucked up <laughs> like literally where is the line it's crazy yeah. so sorry that was just my side rant off camera about that jesus fuck these people are fucking crazy what the fuck sorry okay <laughs> fuck fuck man <laughs> oh my god okay the assault situation you and Faze off camera talked about it, but he says like, oh, Jake said he'd come out and apologize, and that was the deal. Like, he kind of says something about it, and I don't press charges, I don't say anything, and then it's all gone. But you never really did. And also the video that you guys made is still up. So I think that's something we should talk about. Super honest, th at this point, I'm pretty sure there has been no lies. It's been very, like, very, very blunt and real about everything. So here's your chance now, let's do it. What actually happened? Why didn't you come out and say something and apologize if you did have any hand in it or even say anything? And why is the video still up? So basically she explained to me in detail that Banks like grabbed her by the neck, like tried to like choke her or something. She saw him making out with a girl. He's hooking up with that other girl and that's not Alyssa. She had like voice memos and like things from the night that she sent to Erica, basically explaining like the situation like right after it happened. Um, and like you could like hear the, the fear and stuff in her in her, in her her voice and, and there was like no reason in my head like not to believe her. And I was like, wow, this is like, the dude who is dating like my ex-girlfriend like part of is like yeah like let's let's like expose this and like make him look bad mm -hmm. which was which and obviously there was like so much beef between us at the time and like there's beef with like rice gum there's beef between me and Alyssa both parties like hated each other and, and I uh, we decided to or I, I decided to like make it into a video mm -hmm. it was not what should have been done but it was a decision like that I made in that moment to do and again I had like no reason not to believe her you're not an actor you're from Colorado you're not an actor I can see you're like you're sort of getting emotional about this like everything she was saying was like so vivid and real and like to me there was no reason on like why she would have like made that story up. Um, 
we made the video. Well, first she actually like filed a police report, but we made the video, uh, put it up online, and um, she filed the police report about what was it? Just that she got hit somewhere, yeah. or was his name in it? I, I think his name was in it. If yeah. his name was in it, they would have called it. I think she she specifically like said that he like strangled her or something in the club. I just so happened to take a picture of Megan at, with the police filing the police report. It's, it's valid. Everyone thought that we like hired like fake cops and stuff to like make it look like it was a real police report. I just want to say like I like out of like all of the shit that like I've done like this was like like I feel I feel so stupid even just like talking about this situation now and like. I handled it like the completely wrong way and it's something that should have never been put online mm. so like, I feel dumb like even trying to like explain like my justification for it like I just hate talking about it and like bring it and like bring it up um, I mean when there is no line and when the drama and the beef and everything gets to a point where it's like there's literally no fucking line yeah. When something like that happens, I can see inside of your head, like, what you said, which is like, perfect. Let's ruin them. Let's fucking expose it. Yeah. Done. Fuck yeah. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah, we don't know 100% for sure what, if it really did happen, or 100% proof and all this stuff, but it doesn't matter. Because we gotta this up now, fucking there it is. Fuck those people. It's 100% wrong. Shouldn't have done it. But... The psychology of it makes sense. Yeah, wrong. it was too real and like too hostile and yeah. I think that's another situation where it's like, you have this platform, right? You have millions of people that are watching you and I've seen this with a lot of YouTubers. They have all these people watching you. It's a lot of power and it's like, oh, I fucking hate this person. I think they're a bad person. They've pissed me off. I can fucking ruin them. Yeah. Let's fucking do it. Yeah. And you've seen it all, I see it all the time on YouTube. This situation was just like next level because it involved assault, which yeah. is like... It's not a joke. No. So when you and him talked about it, why didn't you publicly say like, I fucking shouldn't have done that, that was stupid? That's a good question. Like, I, I, I don't think I, I don't have a good answer. Like, maybe part of me was like, I don't want to just, I don't want to bring this up again. By the time we met up and talked about it, like it was already had dissipated. I felt like maybe it, it would just bring up that topic again. Banks and I talked about it in person, like resolved it, and like I think he's a good person, and like we've both grown so, like so much and learned a lot from that. Yeah. Do you have a reason for it still being up? No. Like why? Why? Why wouldn't you take it down? Why wouldn't you cry with it? I never even thought about it, like... Okay. Yeah, I... Yeah. Yeah, you don't have to lie. You just be like, I don't think about it. No, yeah, I didn't think about it. I don't know if that would... I think the damage was already done, so... So many people have already had already seen it by the time, like... I don't know. I mean, I can delete it. I, I probably should delete it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't want to, like, tell you what to do or anything. I think it is something that people are just... Why is it still up? I'll so probably just delete it right now. Fuck. So I don't forget. Yeah, while you're doing that, I should delete a few of my own, so. a few of my own videos. Oh, Hold on. Yeah, I deleted it. That's... It's not good. That's cool. Wow. Alright, I was not expecting that. Um, all right, I think something that's interesting that like I've just never really heard you talk about the effects of the suicide forced video and The effects it had because we've heard what it did to Logan We've heard his side and his apology and, and how it really did fuck up his fucking business and everything right? I haven't really heard about how it affected you and yours because a lot of people think you're the same person. Yeah it, it uh it, it like dramatically affected my business. It dramatically affected the press, everything. Like probably the same 
just as much as it affected him. Because like you said, people think we're the same person. And you know, we have we do similar things. We're in the same industry, but you know, we're, we're different people. And and uh, when that happened with him, like my name just got looped into everything. It was like Logan Paul did this. He also has a brother that is known for like controversial stuff. And yeah, really messed up things from an advertising standpoint to a brand deal standpoint to even just like how yeah like the public views like the Paul brothers you know um, I felt I felt all of it um, just to like give a little bit of like context but like the day after it happened or like the day he posted the video like two days after that I was supposed to be doing like a brand deal for like seven figures um, and like that got taken away I had like another another one planned for that was another seven figure brand deal that like call yeah we're not doing it anymore like so like from a business standpoint it like really affected um, from an emotional standpoint like I think I learned a lot from the situation as well like it was a lot of it was a lot to go through for like our family just in general like I uh, it definitely brought us like a lot closer together um, did you know that the video was gonna go up did you know about it before he told me what happened and he was like bro I just did like the craziest thing just happened he was just like yeah yeah blah blah blah, blah, blah. and he was like and he like explained it like very briefly and I was like, oh, like, you're posting that? And that was, like, my, literally the first thing I said to him over the phone. And he, I didn't, kn like, know what the video was or, like, what it looked like. Or, like, I didn't even know, like, how much he even filmed. Mm -hmm. And. What did you think when you saw it? I didn't, I didn't watch it um, until, like, after like people were posting the clips um, because he like had deleted the video so I only saw like clips of like what everyone was posting online you know what I mean mm -hmm. I was shocked yeah have you still not seen the full thing? the full video? no Whoa. I I don't want I don't want to like mm -hmm. does that make sense? like yeah I don't want, yeah, like, I don't want to watch it, like. Just, like, I can't wrap my head around the Alyssa thing. I also can't wrap my head around the Forest thing. Um, like, so do you guys talk about it? Or is it just something you're just like, this is too confusing, I don't want to talk about it. It's, for me, it's a little bit of that, yeah. It's like, this is too much, and, like, it, he learned his lesson, I think it made him a lot better of, of a person, um, honestly. And for me, yeah, I don't, I just like, I don't like to talk about it. Cause literally that's like all everyone wants to talk about when they talk about Logan Paul or even me. It's like, that's all everyone wants to talk about. I think the reason it's interesting to me is because I can't imagine you doing that I just can't? Yeah. What I will say is this. Now, it's almost like starting over. What do I actually like doing? And what do I want to do now? Yeah. 1000%. Like, that's why I'm on like this like vacation thing right now. Like, I did this boxing thing and like all this, you know, like hype and whatnot. But, but like, for me, that's why I want to like completely disconnect from like all of this social media shit right now is like, to figure that out like what do I really like to do like what do I really want to do like what's next for me it's like you said like it, it's like starting over mm -hmm. it's like a new it, like it's like a new chapter of like at least my life at, where it's like I made all of these mistakes I got I have all of this knowledge now I have like made a name for myself and like but now it's like yeah like what do I what am I gonna do with that and to me that's exciting. I think now is uh, kind of perfect timing 
you, in my eyes, have changed your videos recently. You're not doing as crazy things. Now that you have Erica, now that, you know, I don't, I don't just met you, but now you have me, you have people you can trust. I think now it's like the time where it's like, you need to fucking do your own thing and figure out who Jake is because I have a weird gut feeling about you. I always have. I think you're better than, you know, all of this drama shit. I, I think it's like, you don't need to do that anymore. And also, yeah. like, yeah. this is something that, like, I might be overstepping a boundary, but, like, it's just my opinion. You don't have to take it. But working with family is bad. I know you love your family, but it is toxic. It doesn't fucking work. My mom, at one point, lived with me and worked with me. And I love my mom, but that was bad. It ended bad. Yeah. And, like, we had, we, like, didn't talk for a while. She moved out. It was a whole thing, right? But then, once I was on my own again, and I figure out who the fuck I was, that's when shit really started growing and I started getting better and figuring things out and making cooler stuff because it's like, and I don't know the full story, but like your dad like kind of living there part time with you, you know, being a part of your business in any capacity. I think you need to phase that out for him and for you because yeah. that's going to end bad. Yeah. Even if you love each other, bad. Because like, he's your dad and Logan's your brother. Like it's just too interconnected. I don't know what's next. We haven't really talked about your business and all of that stuff, but like, I think it is something that maybe you should think about, which is like, oh, I gotta do this for me. Yeah. Next, I gotta do this shit for fucking me. I shouldn't have a million people depending on me. There were so many people at your house and they all are depending on you. And that is like stressful as fuck. It's like a lot. There's not many people you could trust out here. Like, I'm sure you know that. and. Mm -hmm. Um, um, my dad's in there right now to like look over everyone's shoulder like my old business teams were like stealing money from me and so and I think in that capacity it's been super helpful um, yeah and I think he can help in that way yeah. he can help get shit back on track but then I think you need to do your own thing yeah no 100% just fucking like your own thing like doing your own thing and making shit you love and not having a hundred people in your house all the time <laughs> My mindset has changed and I think a, a lot, like, what people will see is definitely a lot of focus more in myself and ha less people, like, depending on me. Mm. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you're not being an asshole by saying that, by the way. Don't feel like, oh, my dad's gonna be mad or my brother, people are gonna be mad at me. You're not an asshole for saying that. That's just a human thing. Yeah. Like, it's a know? lot. It's a lot. You fuck me. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't know what the first step of this is, but I think, like, you can do like a talent management thing, that's fine. But like it shouldn't be something where you're handing people careers because that's just yeah, fucking not going to work. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it hasn't worked. You know? Yeah. Because like, God, oh, the last thing you need is more like why I left. <laughs> why I left. But I swear if someone else makes a why I left in that <laughs> video, like. <laughs> it's just like. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, Yikes. It's like the truth. My truth. You literally, yeah, you literally like, from what I gathered, most people were like, I just want to see what he's like off camera. Am I, I filming? See if he's, are, are you still filming? Do you want me to film it? Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, nobody's, I don't think anybody's ever seen you like that. Just talking about this shit. Yeah. So when are you guys going on vacation? Because I think you should go like now. We're going? <laughs> literally literally like a day. two days, but yeah, I think we should go right now. Yeah, I think we should like get on a plane now. I almost then, cried. What did you guys talk about? What I miss? Just uh, a lot. Yeah. Do you did you tell him about? You told me not to. Oh, I love you. Um, what did you not? What are you guys? What's the secret? So my producer Katie yesterday was actually a therapist, and oh, shit. the whole day she was really just like watching you and talking to you and just like. Seeing you off camera, just like seeing what you were like, because the whole point was like, is he a sociopath? So she was actually secretly a therapist? Yeah. Did you know that? Yeah, but when we were I told her, the fuck? I told her that. No, no. You probably didn't even know what it is. A sociopath? Yeah. I don't think I know the exact definition, but it's not good. <laughs> That's perfect. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, let's go. Wait, but so did she say any, anyone was a sociopath in our group? We'll talk about that in the next video. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Did she? Um, so it's been a little bit. We've been kind of hanging out for an hour talking. Um, 
and something came up. I was like, listen, I don't wanna to get too deep into family stuff, it's not my place. Should I take out the part where I was like, I think your dad needs to move out, I think you need to just be kind of on your own for a while. And then you kind of said there was something you yeah, I mean, I, I said, I told, I told um, Shane off camera, but I said, no, like, le like you can leave that in there. Like, it's not, it's not something that I already don't know. Um, my dad definitely, like, helped when I needed him, and, like, he was someone I could trust as I was bringing in new business people, but um, I basically already, I told him like weeks ago that um, that he should go back to Ohio and like we should just go back to like like he should just be my dad and like we could just like have like a normal father-son relationship and like and bond like over the stuff that we love like we both love off-roading we both love cars we both love motorcycles like that's the relationship that I love with my dad and like we'll I told him I was like we're both gonna be happier that way like just be even for Logan because like my his relationship with Logan is very broken as well and it's like we just need you to just be like our dad and like not be so involved with like all this other shit and yeah it's like like I said it's not something I don't know like I know I saw it months ago like it's just like, it's such a sensitive thing because he is my dad and like, I, I love him and I didn't want to like hurt his feelings and like, it, it's just hard. I mean, I think it's gonna be good for your whole family. Yeah. Yeah. Is there something you want to say? No, I think that's it, yeah. I think that's it. So he evaluated my whole life, and it's on YouTube now. <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited we're doing this. Um. Suddenly you look like a stranger. Um, I, I know I'm, like I'm, I'm putting a lot of like trust into you and I think if like someone can you know do this and have it be fair it's you and I want to be like as truthful as possible obviously and like just be just be super real and kind of just like clear things off my chest that I haven't said before and I know like a lot of people were saying like yo like Shane why are you doing this like don't give him a platform and and so on and so forth oh, so like I wish that you had him pull the trigger shove me down with my beta I know you're going to get criticism for this one like I mean I don't even think I have to warn you but people hate me like literally they hate me and you swam so deep into my river your footsteps lead everywhere I go I never was a weeper uh, I don't, if, if like this is gonna hurt you Then, if, like I, I don't wanna do it For the little things that we wanted I know it was so good together like, I don't want to have to say, like, I told you so, like, I told you people would be pissed, but... I wish that you had to pull the trigger Shut me down with my bitter heart My blood is getting thicker, oh You shut me down, you shut me down, oh But yes, like, if there's anything we can do to avoid you getting hurt... Shut me down with my bitter That you don't regret it I really thought we 